Yo and hello everybody, Mike here, Baseball Collector, <clears throat> and uh, it's Monday, and I was thinking, had a great time this weekend at the show, and I was kind of just looking around, and I noticed that our channel, Bench Clear, is over 4,000 subscribers, and so I thought I would run the giveaway do a giveaway for that because that's really cool I mean we just started doing videos in June and we've grown now to over 4,000 subscribers we've got nine different people doing content ten different people doing content something like that a recent guy that's come on board is uh, Matt Coleman and Matt did the video he's doing the video series called the pull and he did one with Maddox over the weekend at the card show and it was fantastic if you haven't watched it you should absolutely watch it it's really really well done and Maddox is terrific I got to meet him at the show and so that was awesome and so the last few days <clears throat> I've really been thinking a lot about some things and I wanted to make this contest kind of different kind of fun and I was watching some I've been watching some videos lately and one of them that I saw was uh, Eric's video last week. He did one similar to what I'm going to be talking about. And then Eric, whose channel is The Card Closet, so shout out to him, uh, did one. And it kind of just, all right, it reinforced this idea of what I want to do for the contest. And then today I got a care package from uh, Brandon of Brandon's Baseball Cards. And he had done a contest and he was giving away these awesome packs of cards, commemorative cards done by Upper Deck for this baseball series, which I'm a gigantic fan. In fact, I have, I think it's recording it now. Every time it's on, it records and then I watch it and I love to watch it during the off season because it gets my juices flowing for baseball season again. It gives me something to, you know, reminisce and remember history and learn something. But what I want our contest to be is something a little bit different. It's not really card related, but it's more community related. And what I mean by that is one of the best things that we all know is about this hobby is the friendships that you make. And YouTube has provided an avenue for me to make some really great friends. And so you have to do a few things for the contest. Number one, you have to be a subscriber. Number two, uh, well, I'd prefer if you liked the video. There's going to be plenty of you that dislike the video, but I hope some people like the video. That would be great. And number three, I need you to do a video. And so I know that's kind of exclusive to, uh, well, I guess you don't. I'd prefer a video. Let's put it that way. If you want to just simply put a comment below, that'd be great too. But it's going to be a long comment because you'll understand in a minute. And what I want you guys to do in your video is talk about, tell some stories about the friends that you have made through YouTube. We've got Thanksgiving coming up late next week. And I just think I'm, I'm very thankful for that. I'm thankful for a lot of things in the craziness of 2020. I'm thankful for my family. I'm thankful for my faith. I'm thankful for my friends. And I think this would, this is a great time to, Maybe just think about the good things about the hobby. Cards are great, but friends are better. And so in your video, you, I want you to just tell stories about the friends that you've made through YouTube or even through the hobby. Specific stories, like I'm gonna tell you some stories about some friends of mine here right now to give you an idea of what I'm talking about. So. There are so many guys, I mean, literally hundreds of people that I have become friends with over the period of time that I've been doing videos. But there are guys that you that you know and you talk to occasionally and guys that are definitely called friends. And then there's guys that kind of take it to another level of friendship. And for those of you that have good friends in your life, in or out of the hobby, it's an investment. I mean, it takes time. You have to invest time. You have to, you know, be willing to put yourself out there. And that's not easy for everybody. But to make friends in this hobby is, uh, it's special. And so I have been blessed or am blessed 
to have a bunch of guys that I call really close friends. And they're guys that I chat with almost daily and guys that I've built a rapport with. And they're guys that we may or may not see eye to eye on a whole lot of things in the world, but we're still friends. And that's the coolest thing. So uh, the first one I wanna talk about is Mike and it's Canadian Cards, it's his YouTube channel. Mike and I met a little over a year ago, about a, actually about a year and a half ago now, at the National in person for the first time. And uh, <clears throat> Mike's just a super great guy. He is funny, quick-witted. Uh, he can take a joke, and we rib him a lot, and he just you know, laughs it off and comes right back with a smart ass comment or something and it's really funny. I really just enjoy talking to him and I've really enjoyed getting to know him a lot more over the last uh, 18 months or so. So he's one of my really, really good friends in the hobby. Then there's uh, JT, Triple Crown 24, who was here over the weekend. And, you know, <laughs> you always hope that people, when they, when you invite someone to your house or whatever, that that they're great and I mean I had no worries about JT honestly because I've known JT really well again for about the same time as Mike and and what a great young man just uh I mean he could be my kid very easily he's only a year and a half or so older than my son and we kind of treat him like a kid sometimes but he's the oldest young kid you've ever seen uh, he is a pretty, pretty stellar guy and really savvy on his business. He's doing a lot of things. He's asking a lot of questions. He's open-minded. <clears throat> a lot of things that I think anyone needs to be to be successful. But this guy has him in spades. And JT's just uh, become a really great friend. And so it, even generationally, you can be friends with other people. It doesn't have to be just people your same age, people that only collect what you collect it can be people from a lot of different backgrounds i mean my canadian cards collects hockey and baseball and stuff but you know you can you can find common ground with just about anyone if you look hard enough and if you're open-minded enough so mike and jt then there's andy and i don't i don't even know what to say about andy he is a, a, an absolute salt of the earth kind of guy a guy I, I think of him like a brother and he, you know, he's always there to talk to and he listens. Uh, he's incredibly, uh, I, don't want, I don't know what word I want to use. He's, uh, he's just there. He's just there. And that, that's a lot. That, that means a lot in a friendship. And so Andy and I have gotten to, he's been here to my house several times and we've hung out a lot, probably more in person than anyone else I've hung out with in the community. And it's a joy every time. I look forward to seeing him all the time whenever I get to. And I wish we got to hang out more, quite frankly. But uh, he's what's great is he's close. You know, he's, I say close, he lives, you know, three and a half hours away, but that's pretty close relative to the other guys, but <clears throat> Andy's great. Uh, then there's Eric. Man, I don't even know what to say about Eric he, either. He is hes a cardboard oracle, first of all. I mean, we all know that. But Eric is one of those guys that makes you just laugh and laugh. And his laugh is so infectious. And he doesn't laugh a ton on his videos. Uh, he's you know, he's pretty, pretty business oriented. You know, he's getting this video done and he's telling whatever he's sharing his knowledge and spewing out facts about cards and showing off amazing stuff. But he is hilarious. I mean, he makes us laugh all the time. He's got so many sayings. I mean, I could just quote Eric sayings all the time, but he's one of those guys that uh, has been one of my longest friends in the hobby and just totally is everything you think he is. He is down to earth. He's, uh, he speaks his mind for sure though, which is great. And I respect that, 
but uh, you know, Eric's just one of those guys that I love, love, love talking to anytime I get a chance to, and we talk a lot, he and I. And the last guy I want to talk about tonight is Garrett, card cutter. Um, Garrett's genuinely become my best friend in the hobby for sure, and one of my best friends, period, in my life. And that's weird uh, to say, maybe, because we've never met in person. We talk every day. I talk to him more than I talk to my twin brother. I talk to him more than any friend I have here. Although I have, I have great friends outside of the hobby. I mean, I have wonderful, wonderful friends. But uh, Garrett and I, again, don't collect the same thing. I think we respect each other's collections. We we really like what he, I like what he does. He likes what I do. But man, we just connected on a level that's... Uh, truly amazing and I mean we talk about everything in our lives um, our families our works you know you name it and the conversations could be anywhere from hey dude what's up and it lasts a couple minutes to we might talk two hours <clears throat> but it's uh, it's a special friendship and, a, and I'm grateful to him I'm grateful for what he uh, brings to my life and I just want all these guys and all the guys that I you know I'm not talking about specifically I everybody's special uh, and, and means a lot to me but those five guys have really invested a lot of time in me and I know I, I acknowledge that and I'm aware of that and appreciate that and uh, yeah so I know this is really sappy probably, but I think it's important in this crazy year to take a step back and take a pause and go, man, is it, yes, there's a lot of bad things going on in the world and your life might not be going perfect, but I bet there are some people in your life, just like those five guys are in my life, that you can talk to, that you can, you know, check in with and take your mind off the world for a little while. Or hash out the world with them, you know. That's what friends do. Is they don't. It's hard to really piss off your friends, your really close friends, and they, uh, you know, they forgive you, they laugh at you, they make fun of you. Uh, I have noticed this: that if your friends aren't teasing you, that's when you need to know something's wrong. Because I get teased all the time. We all do. Everybody takes it, and everybody dishes it out and that's what friendship is kind of it's it sounds counterintuitive but you need to just uh give a lot of grace to your friends and vice versa because they give a lot of grace to me so do your video on people that have you know been special in your hobby life i think that i think that's just something we need as a community to hear how other people uh what they mean to them and nobody likes hearing, or nobody, every, how do I want to say this? Everyone loves to hear what they mean to someone else. And so that's never a bad time to hear that. You can't hear it enough in our world today. So go out there and make a video. The deadline's going to be a week from today. So next Monday, make sure you put a link down below let me say that again put a link down below to your video if you do one for this contest like this video be a subscriber to bench clear did i even say what you're going to win maybe i didn't if i didn't it's going to be a hundred bucks so you see people will stay around till the end just to hear what they can win a hundred bucks and uh that can be sent paypal or something we'll figure it out but that's going to be the prize for the contest. And thanks everybody for helping Bench Clear get to a thousand or four thousand subscribers. Man, we've done it really fast, and it, you know everybody's been really supportive. So I appreciate it. We will talk to you soon. Look forward to watching everybody's videos. Can't wait to see them. Have a good one. Keep collecting.